We're in Microsoft Outlook 2016. I'm going to show you how to create and edit a task. So a task is something that uh, reminds you of something that you need to do for yourself or for your company. And there's lots of different options you can do there. So just go to the fourth icon from the left and you'll see that that is a task. And let's go ahead and right click and choose to create a new task. So once uh, you do that, task pops up. And let's go ahead and say make bread. All right, that could mean if you're a business, that could be to make money. If you uh, are at home, it could mean to remind you to make bake some bread. So we're going to choose a start date. So this is um, uh, you know the the sort of like a calendar entry, but it allows you to do some additional uh, steps as well. So our start date is going to be the ninth, and our end date is going to be the thirteenth. We're going to make a lot of bread. So our status is that we have not started. Now we could also change the status to in progress, completed. Um, you know, there's, it's uh, uh, lots of different options there, more options than what you could do with just a calendar. It's more like Microsoft Project, like a mini Microsoft Project type of thing. So you can click on priority and we can say uh, low, normal, high. Well, we really want to make that bread. And we can say our completion percentage. So now let's go ahead and go to our details. So um, our details, we can choose uh, what date it is that we're going to complete those details or what we've done so far, how far we've driven. Uh, let's say that we drove uh, two miles. And billing information, uh, purchased flour. All right, and it is for Breadco very good so that is our details so far we can go ahead and assign the task if we want to have somebody else do this work for us and we can check the names in case you're not sure if you type the right uh, email address you can also set a recurrence so it happens uh, over and over sort of like an appointment you can set up that way you can categorize it with uh, different colors and in case you have different uh, things that different colors that mean different things to you there we go. Uh, we can also mark this private in case you have your tasks uh, shared with other people. You can mark them private. And let's go ahead and click on the insert tab. From here, we can go ahead and insert different documents. Um, so in case you wanted to uh, put in the directions on how to make bread, for instance, or something else like that, um, you can also add an Outlook item, a business card for you know somebody that you uh, have in your Outlook's con Outlook contacts. You can set up a signature if you'd like as well. Put in some online pictures and it's going to load up some pictures. So we'll just go to pull just to put in bread. Lots of different bread there. And now we have our bread picture. Kind of big, but that's okay. We can shrink that down a little bit. All right. So we can also put in a chart about how many uh, pieces of bread we're, we're going to make. Uh, we can take a screenshot if we want. And uh, so that way we can come back to it if we need to. We can insert a text box and type some things there. We can add some 3D effects and you know, all kinds of things you can do for this. All right, we can also change the formatting of our text if we can't uh, read uh, very well we can make it bigger and then expand the size of the box so we can read that as well uh, we can also click on review we can do things like uh, check the spelling and grammar do a thesaurus so let's say we go to bread and we want to see other uh, other names for bread and so uh, there are our other names that we can choose from our thesaurus if we'd like we can check our word count see how many words we've got shows us we have five total words um, we can also translate into different languages if we want as well so uh, we can translate the item and we can choose different proofing languages so once that is all done let's go back to our task here uh, we can choose save and we can also set up, set up a follow-up for next week to remind us and uh, we can, when we're completely done, we can just go ahead and click save and close. So there is our make bread task. And let's say that we went ahead and we were able to uh, make some changes. Let's go to details. 
and we can update our details if we want. We can also cancel the assignment if we uh, don't want that. And let's go ahead and we have a status report. We can send a status report to our boss to tell him how, how we're doing on making bread. And uh, so that's pretty much it. So lots of things you can do with a task, uh, setting up a task, and it will also pop up a reminder just like a calendar event uh, once uh, you have reached a point where a due date for a particular assignment is, uh, is done. So uh, there we go. That's it for creating a task in Microsoft Outlook 2016.